let's explore how to turn projects into puzzles and how to share these files to other iPads. After you've designed a background, added stickers, made an answer key, and input info details, your project is ready to be exported as a puzzle. Puzzles cannot be edited like projects can be. It's best to export as a puzzle if you plan to have others play it and you don't want them to change anything. With your project open, click the Share button at the top right corner of the screen. You will have the option to change the name of the puzzle. You also have the option to display a solution to the puzzle before puzzle play begins. Click the Export button. Your project has been exported as a puzzle and appears in the Puzzles list. To see the Puzzles list, click My Projects in the top left corner. Click Save to save your project. You will want to keep the project file in case you want to make any changes to the puzzle in the future. Now click the Puzzles tab. You can see your newly created puzzle in the list. Clicking the puzzle opens it, and its information is displayed. Of course, you can click Start to begin playing. You can share puzzle files with others. Teachers will surely want to send puzzles they make to students. Note that in order for others to be able to play the puzzle file, Stick Around must be installed on any receiving iPads. To share a puzzle, go to the Puzzles list and click Select. Choose a puzzle. Click the Share button. If you choose via email, then a new email message will appear and the puzzle will be attached. After the recipient opens the email on his or her iPad, clicking the Files icon will show the Open In options and clicking Stick Around will copy that puzzle to the receiver's puzzle list where it can immediately be played. In addition to email, you can copy to an account on Dropbox, WebDAV, or Google Drive. Clicking one of these options will prompt you to log in if you haven't already linked an account. After you've logged in, choose a folder and click Export. The puzzle file is copied to that location. After you copy to Dropbox or Google Drive, it's possible to open the Dropbox or Google Drive app and copy a public link to the file. You can then paste that link online or into a QR code for others to follow or scan to download the puzzle. If you paste that link onto Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, or Google+, use the hashtag StickAround app so that your puzzle shows up when others search for this hashtag. Note that you can unlink Dropbox, Google Drive, and WebDAV accounts from the Projects, Puzzles, or Recordings list by clicking the Sources icon. If you have explained everything installed, you can copy your puzzle's background and stickers to a new project. In Explain Everything, you can make a screencast with the background and stickers. You can share project files in the same ways you can share puzzle files. Click the Projects list and click Select and choose a project. Clicking the Share icon reveals the same menu of choices as we just saw for sharing puzzles. Remember, project files can be edited and puzzles cannot. Teachers should share project files with other teachers so that the recipient can make modifications before sharing with their own students. And when teachers share with students, they will probably share a puzzle file.